welcome to another session in Math Mike. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In today's video, we will be talking about arithmetic series. What is arithmetic series in mathematics? This is the sum of the terms in arithmetic sequence. We have formula that uh, we'll follow in solving arithmetic series, where the series is equivalent to n over 2 times the quantity of a sub 1 plus a sub n. S sub n stands for the sum of the terms. For example, we'll be getting the first term to the 10th term. What is the sum of the first term to the 10th term? n is the number of term. a sub 1 is the first term. And a sub n is the specific term. Let's have an example in solving arithmetic series. What is the sum of the given arithmetic sequence 1, 2, 3, and so on until 100? First thing we'll do is identify the formula. The formula as presented, S sub n equivalent to n over 2 times the quantity of A sub 1 plus A sub n. All we need to do is substitute the given item. So we are looking for what is the series sub 100. Then what is the n? So that is 100. What is the a sub 1? The a sub 1 is the first term. And what is the A sub 100? That is 100. Take note that the requirement of solving a series or arithmetic series is the first term and the specific last term of the given problem. As for the problem here, we are looking for the 100 term. So, that is why our ending term is the A sub 100. All we need to do is substitute from the given formula. So, N is 100 all over 2 times the quantity of A sub 1, which is 1, plus 100. So, if you divide it, 1, the result is 50 times 101. Then, all you need to do is multiply 50 times 101. The result is 5,050. This is now the sum of the first 100 terms given the sequence 1, 2, 3, and so on until 100. Example number 2. What is the sum of the first 10 terms of the given arithmetic sequence 5, 13, 21, 29, 37. We are looking for the first 10 terms. We already have our first term, which is the 5. But we don't have the value of our 10 term because that is the requirement of 
our series. So first thing we'll do is solve for the 10th term by using the formula of arithmetic sequence. So a sub 10, that would be equivalent to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times the common difference. So that would be equivalent. Our a sub 1, there is 5 plus n, which is 10 minus 1 Times the common difference, take note, all we need to do is subtract the second term to first term, third term to the second term, and so on. And the result is 8. So we have 5 plus 9 times 8. So we have 5 plus 72. And that would be equivalent now to 77 for a sub 10. So now we already have our a sub 10, which is the last term of our formula under the series, which is equivalent to n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub 10. We can directly now substitute. N here is 10 all over 2 times the A sub 1 is 5. And the A sub 10 is 77. Then we will divide 10 divided by 2. The result is 5. You can directly add 5 and 77. And the result is 82. Then multiply now 82 by 5. And the result is 410. So therefore... The sum of the first 10 terms of the given arithmetic sequence, 5, 13, 21, 29, 37, and so on, is 410. Now, let's proceed to another example, which is example number 3. This would possibly... Uh, exist in in solving arithmetic series. So here is the problem. Find the sum of the first 25 term of an arithmetic sequence where the first term is 10 and the common difference is 5. So again, we will be solving for S sub 25. We already have the given a sub 1, which is 10. But we don't have the A sub 25. So what we will do? All you need to do is use the formula of arithmetic sequence to get the value of A sub 25. Solve for the 25th term. So A sub 25 is equivalent to A sub 1 plus the quantity of N minus 1 times the common difference. Take note, we, are, uh, we have already the value of A sub 1, which is 10. The N is also given, which is 25. Subtract it to 1. And the common difference is given on the statement provided above, which is 5. So 10 plus 24 times 5. Then 10 plus 120. If you add, 
two item results to 130. So A sub 25 is equivalent to 130. So we can place now 130 as the value here. So now uh, the given are complete. So we can proceed now in solving the S sub 25 or the first 25 terms of the given sequence. And that would be equivalent to N over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub 25. All you need to do is substitute the given. 25 for N here all over 2 times our A sub 1 is 10 plus we have a sub 25, 130. Then we can directly take note if that results to decimal. I suggest to multiply that one first to uh, the denominator of the next uh, on, on the answer here. Okay. So we have 140. So that the result is still whole number. To make it more easier okay, to divide. Okay, so we have here 140 times 25. Okay, results to 3,500. And we can directly divide it by 2 now. Okay, if you divide it by 2, and the result is 1,750. So therefore, the first 25 terms of the given sequence or arithmetic sequence is equivalent to 1,750.